Okay. <coughs> Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this presentation, me, Farhan, Ahmad and my friend Hari Valagan will present about ISO qualification. Okay, let's go. What is ISO quality certification? ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. ISO is the international organization that develops standards to ensure the quality assurance, safety, efficiency of product, service, and system. The certification is handled third party and tested annually. Back below again. All right, there are three types of quality certification issued. The first one is ISO 9001 certificate that was awarded to organization or industry which comply with all the 20 clauses. The second one is the ISO 9002 that was awarded to organization or industry which has its full of production operation and delivery, including inspection, handling, storage, preserv preservation and service. The last one is ISO 9003 that was awarded to organization or industry which carry out only the last function. All marketing agencies and service organization falls under these categories. Next slide. <clears throat> All right, next I will explain the procedure for ISO certification. All right, firstly, decide which ISO 9000 certification. For example, if your company want to take ISO 9001 certificate, ISO 9001 can greatly benefit your business, including its internal operation, efficiency, and profitability. Secondly, you need to choose your approach method. <clears throat> there are four approach you can choose, in-house implementation, hands-on hands consultant, hands-off consultant, and certification kit. Most small to mid-sized company will find it ideal to pursue ISO 9001 accreditation in-house with the support of good certification kit. Moving on next, the third one, you need to appoint management representative. MR as the lead person. It needs to be somebody who has sufficient authority to change operational process and the way that your company works. This person will be responsible for implementing ISO 9001 process. MR will arrange internal auditing and ensure conformance to all issues. <clears throat> Next, you need to give training and awareness to your employees. You need you will need to ensure that the company executive and the staff completely support the ISO 9001 effort. Explain to them the, the benefit of ISO 9001 certification, including the internal and operation, operational benefit, as well as the marketing benefits that the ISO 9001 certificate can bring. And the last one, you need to approach a reputed certified body. The certifying body will come for auditing. If there are a few minor, if there are a few minor non-conformities or major conformities, if the company can satisfy satisfy the auditing team requirement, certificate will be issued to the company. In order to achieve ISO 9001 certification, it will be necessary for the for 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 your company to have an independent third party ISO 9001 auditor to visit your company and perform a site audit. The certification audit can be performed soon after you have complete your internal audit and after you have collected about two months worth of records using your ISO 9001 process. Certificate will be valid for three years and need to be renewed after that. During the validity period, the civilian's audit will, will be carried out every six months. <clears throat> right, next slide. All right, next I will explain about the ISO 9000-2000 certificate. ISO 9000-2000 refers to the ISO 9000 update released in the year of 2000. The ISO 9000-2000 revision had five goals. The first one is to meet the stakeholder needs, be usable by all size of organization. The third one is be usable by all sector. Be simple and clearly understood. And the last one is <clears throat> connect quality management system to business process. The ISO 9000-2000 standard are based on seven quality management principles that senior management can apply to promote the organization improvement. The first one is customer focus. 
leadership, engagement of people, relationship, management, evidence-based decision making, and improvement and process approach. Next slide. <coughs> okay, what is ISO 40,000 certification? ISO 14,000 is uh, ISO 40,000 certification is a series of generic standard developed by ISO to provide uh, industries and other organizations with a system for managing environmental impact. ISO 14,000 address six distinct but related subjects. The first one is Environmental Management System, EMS. The second one is Environmental Auditing, EA. Environmental Performance Evaluation, EPE. Environmental Labeling, EL. Life Cycle Assessment, LCA. And the last one is Environmental Aspect in Product Standard, EAPS. <coughs> Primary objective of ISO 40000 is to promote effective environmental management system in the organization. All right, that's all for me now. I will pass to Hari Balagan to present the, the rest of the slide. Okay, thank, thank you. you, Farhan, for the uh, <coughs> wonderful explanation. I will continue the explanation starting from QS9000 certification. So as we understand, QS9000 was, <coughs> uh, was generated by the automotive giants in the world, and that is uh, Chrysler, Ford, and GM from the 1994 and they are more elaborative than ISO 9000 especially in when it comes to the causes of shell and also should. So QS 9000 uh, as a certain documents in, include itself and that is quality system assessment guidance, advanced product quality planning and control plan refer, reference manual, potential failure mode and effect manual, production part approval process control, measurement system analysis reference manual and last of last but not least fundamental statistical process control reference manual so we will continue next uh, in quality auditing uh, we understand quality auditing is a method where audit examiner will process and systematic quality exam for the organization and this is to ensure organization quality management system is in sync with their iso so they of course come in a certain benefits with it so let's uh, list the benefit out so one organization can understand their quality level second they're able to prepare adequate quality of their product third uh, the company able to understand system effectiveness uh, and also they're able to identify the more unknown variables of quality there is in their product Problem solving can be planned out better once they're able to understand the problem they are facing. This also help them help the organization to make a better decision. This also bond uh, employees together. Identify capabilities of process, equipment, and help meeting legal and statutory requirement. And of course, indirect quality training as well. Okay, but however, there is actually three types of quality audit that is first party audit second party and third party so first party is when the organization doing an audit with their own resources to themselves this is usually done to make sure that the organization able to understand what are their quality level are. second party is when an external audit performed by a supplier or even uh, a supplier by a customer or even by a contracted organization for the customer needs Third party audit is always done when uh, occur during organization decide that they want to confront their QMS standard and to confront their standard or and set of requirement, they will hire a proper body that performs the proper evaluation. Okay, so now we'll explain the system audit. Uh, this is more about glossary or maybe what is the meaning of the, uh, the corresponding word. So system audit means the documented of system management. Process audit procedure means a process of audit checks whether the organization has the adequate and effectiveness of the process control based on the document that they're given. Process audit is a uh, mean product that conf conform to the specific standard after evaluation from auditing body. 
Okay, uh, I think that's it from me and Farhan. Uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you.